my con story happened to me uh, many years ago. I think I was about 12 years old. And so uh, I was quite versatile with sort of jumping into buses and stuff uh, for, from a really early age. And we got this phone call um, on our landline back home. And uh, some guy said, there was, there, was, there was a rice shortage happening in, in the country at the time. And this guy called and said, now I've been sent by, uh, by your father. Uh, there's, there's some rice that he had bought, which is, is, is uh, waiting for you in town. Meet me at, and he said, on Mamangina Street under the Red Bull sign. Uh, so, and bring 7,000 shillings. Now this is, um, this is like 1985. 7,000 shillings. Today is still a lot of money, but 85 was a lot, a lot of money. And so my mom sort of weighs the options. She's there like, oh my goodness, uh, well, it does sound like the kind of thing your dad would do. Um, and it was, it was pre-cell phones. And uh, so she said, you know what, um, I, I, there's no way that I can reach him. So just let's, let's not lose this opportunity. And so she sewed the 7,000 shillings into right under my lapel of my shirt to make sure that I didn't get pickpocketed in the bus on the way there. And so I, some, the most amount of money that I'd ever handled at the time, it was like a million dollars, you know. So, so, and I, so, so I, I take a 46 bus into town and I, 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 I get off at Kencom and I walk over to, to Red Bull, which is kind of where Java is right now, on Mamangina Street, across the street from, from 20th century. And I meet this guy, you know, very sharply dressed, very well spoken, and he says to me, are you Eric? I'm there like, yes, uh, uh, you, you've, 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 you've come for the rice. And I said, yes. He says, okay. And did you, did you bring the money? I said, yes. So he says, okay, give me the money and wait for me right here. I'll be back in, in a few minutes. I did that. And I started to wait. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. It must have been maybe two hours later. A waiter from, from Red Bull came downstairs and said to me, uh, are you Eric? I'm the like, uh, yeah. Mama, I'm going to be a simu, so easy. And I said, I'm going to be So I went up to, to the restaurant and uh, my mom was on the phone and she said, Eric, I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, have you given the guy the money? I'm the like, yeah. And you've been waiting all this time? I said, uh, yeah. She said, I, I think we've been con, you know. And that was that, you know, she told me just to get on a bus and come back home. And that's how that 7,000 shillings went into the ether. And uh, so, no rice, but a great story. Well, absolutely nothing. I mean, um, what can you do? I mean, I, I guess we could have reported it to the police. Or, but on the one hand, I mean, I was a 12-year-old kid in town and... Um, I think we were just happy that nothing had happened to me, you know, uh, and that I'd just given the guy the money or, you know, as opposed to saying, as opposed to following him somewhere, you know. Um, I, so, I'm, I'm, yeah, so, so we, we didn't report it, but, but uh, now we are that much wiser, you know, and uh, we just know that uh, that's, that's kind of how sometimes the streets of Nairobi can be. Hi, my name is Eric Wanaina. Uh, there's some things we really need to be careful about in this wonderful, wonderful city of ours, Nairobi. It's just uh, sometimes you find a lot of people are out to make a, a quick shilling. So, Janjaruka, usiko niwe. Sana fa kufanya. Niambie ni nidu. Ani umetoka Nairobi gani wewe? Mimi nilifeel kana ongea mama yangu. Ya hizi ni bebe ufala hivyo. Hii ni Nairobi, wewe sijui mpaka iko hapa nini? Una expect ni vanya nini? Itabidi mfikie kitu ni tradu. Fikiri ni fikiri ni apa? Tumuzi wetu. Nataka pusa zangu. Aya, chumikie basi. Hi. Yaje. My name is Eric Wanaina. Watch Janjaruka right now. Online. It's available right now. <laughs>